Have you ever guys wondered how RBI is tracking each and every single loan, advances, deposits across the banks? The answer lies in something called as Basic Statistical Returns or the BSR report. Okay. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the quarterly data which was recently released by Reserve Bank of India regarding the Basic Statistical Return BSR1 and BSR2 on the scheduled commercial banks. So let's get the discussion started. First, uh, let me just give you a quick background about the BSR. BSR stands for the Basic Statistical Return System. Okay, Basic Statistical Return System. It was introduced by RBI in 1972. What was the purpose? It was just to standardize how the data from the bank is collected. Now, RBI is the banking system regulator. I can say the financial institution regulator in India, right? It's regulating all the banks. So they need to, it need to collect multiple types of data as well from this, uh, from the multiple banks, right? So there should be a standardization in how RBI is collecting the data from multiple banks. And that's what BSR is all about. Basic statistical return. Now these basic statistical return, they are helping RBI to monitor the credit deployment, deposit mobilization and overall financial inclusion in banking, right? We can have a look here. RBI constituted the committee on the bank banking statistics in 1972, right? For the various statistical reporting data and BSR codes have been introduced. There is something called as BSR code. It is nothing but a seven digit code that is provided to the registered bank by the RBI. Okay. BSR code. Now there are two types of BSR report as of now, which has been published by the RBI BSR one and BSR two BSR one is nothing but related to the credit related to the credit of the bank loans and credit, right? So what returns on advances you are able to generate what loans and credit data is all about is captured by BSR one, right? So BSR one is capturing both the branch wise and the account level information of all the credit facilities. Like what is the type of borrower? What is the type of account size of loan priority sector classification? And so all multiple things are being classified. Multiple things are captured by the BSR one here, right? So it helps us showing the credit distribution patterns across different, different sectors here. We'll be also having a deep dive in the data, which was released by RBI. So we video ke last tak bane rahega. If I talk about the BSR two, it is nothing but a return on deposits. What kind of deposits you are having in your bank? Are you having FDs? Are you having saving account? What is the status of your current account? Right? So type of deposit, maturity structure, how much maturity, um, how much uh, FDs or deposits are maturing in a particular period of time? What is the size of deposit? What is the owner of the, or who is the owner of actually the deposit? Like it can be household, it can be corporate, it can be government organizations, right? So it gives insights into the saving behavior of the household. So the return one is related to the credit. The return two is related to the deposit. Is that what uh, it is, is the bare minimum you need to know about the BS, BSR, right? So if I talk about BSR one and two together, definitely BSR one is tracking the credit side, right? Where the bank is actually lending. And BSR two is definitely the liability side of the bank. So what banks are doing is, if I talk about the business model of a bank, then what banks are doing, they are taking deposits and they are giving the loans and advances. Basically, they are giving the credit, right? So credit related thing is being tracked in BSR one and deposit related things are being tracked in BSR two. Okay. Together, they are giving us a complete picture of the banking system as a whole, right? Why this report is essential if definitely it helps uh, in the monetary policy formulation. It gives a financial stability analysis to the general public, to the RBI. Policy evaluation can also be done like in what sectors basically the money of the banks is flowing and from where what and from what sectors the actually the money is coming, right? How the incoming is being done and how the outcoming is being, I can say how the deposits are being utilized by the banks, right? Here we can see that RBI recently on 29th of August 2025 has published both BSR1 and BSR2, right? So this is quarterly basic statistical return, BSR1 
basic statistical return one on credit we already discussed that this particular report is on credit which is bsr one now this is the data of scheduled commercial banks right it is the data of scheduled commercial banks so what it captures is it's clearly written that it captures various uh, characteristics of the banks such as occupation activity and organization uh, organization sector of the borrower type of the account and interest rates and so on right basically it's a mix of account level data as well right account level reporting by the scheduled commercial banks and that's what we are going to discuss here now you don't have to go through each and every number of this particular report you need to read it in a smart manner i can say right there is a lot of data already that we have to study so please uh, cover each and every data in a very smart manner the very first thing let's have a quick understanding of the highlights the first is bank credit growth year on year basis so what is the bank credit growth the first thing is what is the bank credit growth decelerated first you need to know the direction so there is a deceleration in the bank credit growth as of now it is just 9.9 percent in june 2025 right because this is the quarter one report so i can say april may june data is covered april may june 2025 data is covered in q1 right so this is the quarterly one reporting of the bsr1 related to credit so it's clearly written that the credit is going down in terms of growth rate so it's 9.9 percent as of now earlier we used to have 15 percent we used to have 15 percent so earlier we were having 15 percent i'm talking about june 2024 that's why we are doing a year on year comparison but now it is just 9.9 percent and that's what we need to we can see in the chart as well the highest uh, growth rate is in the personal loan i can say 12.3 3 percent right personal loans are showing a growth rate of 12.3 percent still you can see that every line is in a downtrend every line is in a downtrend that clearly shows the deceleration right that clearly shows the deceleration overall it is 9.9 percent depicted by this dotted line the total is 9.9 percent the highest is the 12.3 percent which is related to which is clearly allocated related to the personal loans right personal loans then we are having the industry level data at six uh, at 7.6 right the industry level data and seven percent is what for agriculture as of now this is related to credit how banks are able to grow in these these areas right in the following areas how the banks are able to grow their credit is what is depicted by this particular report right that's the basic data it was recently published on 29th of august only now in this particular report it, uh, it is also stated that the weighted average lending rate walr weighted average lending rate on the uh, rate on the outstanding credit declined by 39 basis points so there is a slight decline as well here right if i continue talking about the key highlights then personal loans continue to grow faster than the overall credit and we have already seen this thing right that the personal loans are growing at a much faster rate than the overall credit roll uh, than the overall credit uh, growth rate right so please do remember this particular point again can be important first you need to remember the data 9.9 percent year on year earlier it used to be 15 close to 15 percent and now it is just nine percent right that's the total growth out of which personal loans are growing at a much higher rate as compared to the other categories right the industrial credit loan uh, growth has declined to 7.6 percent earlier it used to be 11.3 percent now it is just 7.6 percent again the credit growth for the public sector organizations maintained its upward trajectory so it was quite good good if we talk about the public sector organization right if we talk about the share of individual again it is on an uptrend okay it is on an uptrend and out of the individuals growth in the credit to the female borrowers is outpacing that of the male borrowers again metro branches accounted for the majority of the bank loans that's obvious right that's obvious considering the high amount of population in those areas and public sector banks recorded a higher credit growth 
with that of the private sector banks so can i say that public sector banks have well performed as compared to the private banks right in terms of the credit growth so what you things that you need to remember is first of all this one public sector banks ka growth rate jo aa raha hai credit growth rate aa raha hai it is higher as compared to the private banks it is just 8.3% private sector banks however if we talk about the public sector bank it is 11% okay one more thing that you need to remember is regarding the personal loan they are outpacing any other category as of now in this particular area if we talk about the bsr2 which is a quarterly report on the deposits so we discuss the credit report which is there in the bsr1 if we talk about the bsr2 which is related to deposits with the scheduled commercial banks right with the scheduled commercial banks and here in both the reports we can see that this data is just just of the scheduled commercial banks excluding the regional rural banks right so rrbs is not at all included in this particular report now what is this report all about obviously it's about deposit it's the quarterly branch wise data it is the branch wise data of the deposit now it is depicting the ownership the age wise distribution the patterns right maturity pattern size of the deposits and so on multiple things related to the deposits is being covered in this particular report now if you have a look at the report there are certain deposits like current account deposit saving account deposits term deposits and term deposit i can say is the more than majority of the part in terms of total deposit so term deposit ka yahan pe sabse bada share hai in the composition please do remember that bank deposits with the scbs registered a growth rate of 11.3% 11.3% as compared to the 11.7% so there is a very slight decline is what i can say in the credit side there is a huge decline in terms of growth rate right if we talk about the credit rate it was 15% earlier now it is just 9.9% so there is a significant decline i can see in the growth rate however if i talk about the deposit rate then the bank deposits are quite good as of now there are still at 11.3% which is just slightly lower than the previously declared data year on year basis which was 11.7% right term deposits again uh, significantly outpacing any other deposit category first we are having the term deposit share then we do have saving account share or sabse kam kiska hai current account right current account ka sabse kam yahan pe share hai plus you can have a look that nearly 70% of the term deposits out of the total term deposits i can say 70% 70% accounted for the original maturity bucket to 1 to 3 years that means this particular 70% area is just 1 to 3 years wali maturity fds right whereas around 20% of the term deposits were short term deposits with maturity less than 1 year in 20% of the deposits were of less than 1 year rest of the what about the rest of the 10% so 70% ki maturity is 1 to 3 year 20% ki maturity is less than 1 year what about the rest of the 10% obviously more than 3 years right obviously more than 3 years so that's what this report depicts ki composition mein kaun kitna heavy pad raha hai uske alawa maturity period ke slabs kya kya chal rahe hain again the share of the term deposit of size 1 crore and above inched up to 45.7% in june 2025 earlier it used to be 44.8% now it is 45.7% and the share of household data witnessed a modest decline here right so guys you don't have to remember each and every data as what i can say because it's very very difficult to remember each and every data there are so many reports there are so many finance current affairs rbi circular sebi circulars right so only uh, please remember that data only that i told you here that can be important for your examination right out of total deposits again 20.4% is owned by the senior citizens here deposits growth of the public sector banks and the private sector banks are 10% and 12% respectively so please note it down here that in terms of deposits private banks are doing well as compared to the public banks however in terms of credit in terms of credit public banks are doing well 
as compared to the private banks right that's what you need to keep in mind always here so guys that's all from my end um, this is just a short video covering both the reports or both the data and what re what these reports is all about right are all about so um, here we have also launched the crash course for this is the batch 4 of your uh, for your rbi grade b preparation covering both phase 1 and phase 2 so if you want some mentorship then definitely you can check the course highlights as well of this particular batch we do have a 101 mentorship batch as well this is with books you can also check out this plus you can give a free pyq as well on our all your board website for the year 2024 and do download the free preparation kit as well for your rbi grade b exam so thank you so much guys bye bye take care see you in some other video